This week's Toy Tuesday is actually last week's Toy Tuesday that went a little bit wrong. I didn't finish it because I didn't have a decent end for it, which I think I've found now. Also, it means there's been no post, so it means I'm not going to get a concussion this week. And there aren't many toys in it, but there will be some later on, and we're going to go to a toy fair. So this week's Toy Tuesday is going to be next week's Toy Tuesday, and that's the one that you get mentioned in, Paula, okay? But for now, what I'm going to do is get on with this week's Toy Tuesday. I think they just have random boxes lying around the place to throw at me now. Right, so I'm on the way to the Bolton Toy Fair. Well, actually, I'm going to go and pick Louie up first. I'm late, as always, and I have a car full of gear. So it's been two years since we've done a toy fair. And I really don't know what to expect or what's going to sell. So I'm panicking a bit. I'm going to go and pick some more gear up from the shop just in case I've not got all bases covered. And then we're going to go to the Bolton Stadium, uh, Reebok Stadium, Macron Stadium, whatever it's called. I'm not sure now. And then um, hopefully meet some of you guys, hopefully sell some gear and probably, yeah, I'm probably going to spend more than I'm going to buy. This is me from the future quickly interrupting me from the past to show you the two things that I actually ended up buying at the toy fair. In fact, I only spent 12 quid in the end and I bought this, um, I think it's like a miniature sort of Lego Skeletor and Panthor, which is rather cool. Ironically, after doing a video about how much I actually hate He-Man toys, I thought this was rather cool. I don't hate He-Man toys now, but I did as a kid. Also, I bought this Only Fools and Horses car. I do have it in a slightly different box, so I thought I would get this one again because it's different and because I'm a toy collector, and these are both going up here in the museum. I can always tell when someone's been messing around with my displays in the museum because I would never do anything like that. Anyway, he's gonna go in here with those. Oh, and behind me over my shoulder there is Blackpool Tower. So, Louis is in the car now. Right, we are now en route to the Reebok, Reebok Macron Bolton Stadium. Right, so I'm all parked up. I've had a look round. I think I brought all the wrong gear to this fair, but we'll see. Uh, people are already starting to moan about the prices and stuff, uh, but that's uh, par for the course, isn't it? I'm gonna get in there, see if we can get some gear sold. Quick sneak peek at the pitch. <laughs> Safe to come out, mate. Yeah. Right, toy fair is go. Done a little bit, haven't we? Not much. Um, what time is it? Just about to go half past ten. So it's just about to go half past ten. So the doors will be opening in a minute. There'll be a flood of the happy and eager public coming in to buy all our gear, won't we? Hope. I mean, hopefully. Optimistic. Yes. Otherwise, we're taking all this stuff home with us. Seen a couple of people that we know so far. Um, there's lots of cool stuff. I bought one thing, but there's a lot of other things I could buy. There's some awesome um, graded Star Wars stuff over there, which is fantastic. But now we are going to prepare for the mass hordes of people breaking the doors down to get in. How are you doing? You all right? I'm just going to zoom in to see what he's buying. I wonder if he's going to notice that I'm spying on him. Do a quick scan around the show. Pretty quiet at the minute. I don't know if it's my aftershave that's scaring everyone off or what. But it's not been a disaster, but it's not been a knockout either. But then again, times are hard, aren't they? What I might do is go for a bit of a wander and leave Louis in charge because he might sell more stuff being as motivated and optimistic as he is. Are you watching football? He's watching football. And it was in this point of the video where I got a bit stuck. As I was walking around the show, I mainly filmed a lot of the carpet to be fair, but one of the stall holders took a bit of umbrage to me filming him 
I guess he didn't want to be seen there and he was a bit of a knob about it so I decided not to do any more recording there which kind of ruined my video but then this weekend there were a load of TVRs parked across the road and now I'm going to show you some epic pictures of some TVRs <laughs> This next TVR is rather epic, it's an absolute one-off, I think it's known as the White Elephant, but it's a prototype and it was designed by the same person who designed the uh, Lotus Esprit Turbo, so it looks very similar, but um, this is a very cool car. <laughs> It was also great to meet Fad Gadget at Duran Duran. He came here and had a look around the museum the other day. Thank you very much for dropping in and introducing yourself. It was really great to meet you, so thanks for doing that. And everyone else that we bumped into at the Toy Fair, that was pretty fantastic. Apart from the Bellend who didn't want me to film him, but that's another story. Oh, and congratulations, Dave. Well done for winning the He-Man figure. Thanks for coming in. It was good to see you. But you are going to hate this video because it ends very... How late am I? Could have said less for the camera. Right. So 29 minutes. Thank you.